Hi, my name's Alex. I'm a junior at Keller Central High School, and today I will be teaching and breaking down the grasshopper exercise. So, um, this exercise mainly works on your right hand and left hand consistency while filling in 16th notes, and you're going to be making sure that your hands are always at the same height, and you want good sound consistency the whole time. All right, so um, the first measure of the exercise is going to be a whole measure of eighth notes for your check. Um, we're going to do, it's going to be all off the right hand. So it'll go one, two, 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 three, two, three, two, three, two. Cool. Then the next measure, you're going to fill in all the T's with your left hand. So you're playing one T-T, two T-T, three T-T, four T-T. Make sure both hands come up to the same height and you're playing uniform. Good sound quality, everything. And then next measure is another right hand check eighth notes. Now this time you'll be filling in just the ta. So go one, ta ta two, ta ta three, ta ta four, ta ta. Then you do one more measure of eighth notes for the check. And then the next measure is all sixteenths alternating. Then you would wait four clicks from the metronome and you do the whole thing off the left. So we'll do the right hand, right hand pattern and then left hand pattern together. So just make sure for this part of the exercise that all your sixteenths are even. So you want you want everything to sound like you're just playing with one hand, for example. So, so try not to lift your filler hand too high or too low. You want consistent sixteenths. Cool. Um, for the last part, the last third, uh, for double sticking. Uh, you're going to start with the first measure check all being double stops, so both hands. So one te, two te, three te, four te. And then the next, the second measure with one te, te two te, te, you're going to use a different sticking this time. It'll go right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right? Then you're going to do another full measure of double stop eighth notes. Now for one teta, two teta, you go right, left, left, right, left, left. Then for this, for this measure check, you're gonna go start with the right hand for beat one, and then the rest of the eighth notes you'll do down stop, uh, double stops. So one, one te, two te, three te, four te. Then the last measure, six eighth notes, is right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. And then make sure here when you're doing the double sticking part, you gotta bring out that second um, doubled note, right? So you don't want it to go like, because that's just gonna sound like eighth notes. You gotta get um, the second right hand as high as the first note. Um, okay, cool. Um, you're gonna put all that together. You just put um, four clicks from the metronome between each set. Start off the right hand, four clicks, left hand, four clicks, and then both. So let's do it.
Um, make sure normal practicing habits. Start everything at a slow tempo where you can understand what your hands are doing, get a good feel for it. Um, and then once you get more comfortable, you can speed it up. Um, one note, uh, one thing to note is that when you're doing, um, you're filling in notes, um, if you know, if you know about downstrokes already, go ahead and apply them. Um, so for like one tite, two tite, if you're going to stop the right, go one tite, notice how my hand stopped down here, my left hand, so it, right? Um, just do that, um, because it's a good accent tap kind of something to work on. So we can define this like nine inches, this is one inch, three inch, whatever. Just keep that in mind. Um, make sure you keep your hands constant for that chip pattern. Uh, once you get faster, you might need to incorporate a little more finger, but make sure you're getting that constant right hand, constant left hand, constant both hands. You know, get that feel in there. Make sure everything's even. All right, lastly, I'm gonna try the exercise at 170. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck.